All right, the truth is everybody has implants because the radio frequency machines are being used all across America and crowds of people more common now. So the military utilizes these machines in certain areas near you or where you live. And they are also installed in large stores like Walmarts and giant businesses that are all part of the merger between the U.S. government and monopoly corporations. So all people get these implants, whether they know it or not. And they often consider the implants to be something that comes along with injury or old age. For example, they might say, I know I'm getting older because I have a stiff neck or pain in my shoulders now. So many of you do not know that you have the implants. So the first video series was called Energy Lifts and Frequency Shifts. And I spoke a little bit about how to detect and remove these implants. Yet I have learned a lot of new information since then that I'm going to put in this video. So listen up because there's going to be a couple of differences between that first video and this one. And the big difference is how I explain to breathe. So the proper way to breathe is to use what is called the U breath form. So you breathe in and out only through your nose while keeping your mouth closed. So your tongue is relaxed as you breathe all the way in through your nose until you cannot inhale anymore. Then right as you exhale, you want to momentarily lift by pulling your tongue to the roof of your mouth like you are swallowing a drink. So you're going to create a momentary suction with your mouth. Your lips are together, your mouth is closed, and a suction is created with your tongue by pulling it to the roof of your mouth as if you are swallowing a drink. And this swallow should not last more than two full seconds. And after that, then you want to relax your tongue as you exhale the rest of the way. So the sensation is like breathing all the way in, then picking something up with a momentary suction as if you are swallowing a drink. And then you want to relax your tongue and then guide your breath upwards as you exhale fully. And you always want to breathe up, which means as you exhale, you have to imagine guiding the air and the plasma energy in a straight path all the way up your spine and out the top of your head. Of course, the air will be exhaled through your nose, but you should imagine breathing straight up so you can guide the plasma all the way up and out the top of your head, which is called your crown chakra point. And that is the exit location for the plasma. So always remember to breathe up. So you want to practice this deep breathing exercise at all times. And this is what you do in meditation. But you can't always meditate. Sometimes you have to go to work. Sometimes you have to take long drives. And these are the times that the military will attack you. So you must learn how to breathe correctly and lift the incoming plasma up by using the U breath form. Now remember, what allows you the most strength is how deep you breathe. Your deepest inhale will allow you the most strength and pull to get these implants out. It is not how hard you drink, swallow, or pull up with your mouth. It is how deep you inhale which gives you the power. Your breath is the driving engine of the chakra system and is what moves all the plasma out of your body. So your deepest inhale becomes something of a conscious force, a spiritual arm that can reach into any place of your body to grab hold of an implant and then pull it out. It doesn't matter if the implant is in your knee or your foot. Your breath becomes something of a conscious force that can reach into any area of your body and remove the implant. Yet, in traditional meditation, they only teach you to breathe up and down your spine. And that is done to clear your center along your chakra system. However, these implants will develop anywhere they can attach themselves to. So in this report, you are going to learn how to use your U breath to breathe into every area of your body. Especially into vital areas where implants develop that you would not even consider. So before I continue, 
Let me say in the first video called energy lifts and frequency shifts, I described drinking or pulling the plasma energy up, but I did not explain it too well. And in that video, I said, imagine drinking through a straw, and that is not a good description for it. The correct way to describe it is like creating a momentary suction with your mouth, like you do when you swallow a drink. And in the video, Energy Lifts and Frequency Shifts, I also said to maintain a constant suction with your mouth, and I called that the siphon. And it turns out that siphoning is not a good practice, especially when they're directing a lot of energy at you. Because if you drink up too much, if you're constantly pulling up using your tongue, if you're constantly creating this suction with your mouth, with your tongue, it prevents your ability to inhale with ease. And you also end up pulling too much plasma up and it will get stuck around your chest and your sinus area. Because when you're pulling it up, all the plasma energy is being directed toward your sinus area and your lungs. And you just end up helping the plasma build up in those areas as implants. So instead of siphoning, you want to use the U breath to maintain a steady flow of plasma energy that could be handled better. When I first started getting hit by the military using radio frequency energy weapons, they wanted to program me to keep me divided from my wife and children. I lived in Connecticut and my wife and two daughters lived two states away in New Hampshire. So when I'll go to drive up to see them, the military would use this technology to attempt to shut off my ability to breathe. So they had implanted me with a breath implant in my sinus area where they could cut off your nasal airway part way and make it tough to breathe through your nose. And they implanted me in the throat where they could tighten your throat and create a choking sensation. They also implanted me in the chest where they could create a lot of pain around your heart. And then they would follow me in their cars the whole time making it worse, attempting to cut off my airway and give me panic attacks so I would want to stop the car, get out, or turn around and give up on seeing my family. So I had to fight, not only to drive up and see them, but also to breathe. So I got pretty good at breathing while under a radio frequency induced respiratory attack. So the whole way up there, I would use this you breath breathing method and at times, due to these implants, it would be like breathing through a respirator or through a severely stuffed up nose. So it may be a little unsettling at first. Because under the stress and pressure, people could be triggered into panicking and then taking wild, gasping breaths through their mouths. And it only gets worse from there. So you will need to keep your mouth closed to maintain your ability to breathe in and out through your nose and pull the excess plasma energy out that is constantly going into you. So you need to practice breathing in and out through your nose using the you breath no matter how tough it gets. So in this next section I'm going to explain to you what I know about the levels of the radio frequency energy machines. And the first level is low and that is when the power is on and directed at you but it's on so low that you cannot really sense it. And that's what's happening to the general public now. They are being implanted without knowing it. And basically, the military uses these implants that form in them to just control them. They use it for crowd control. They could clear out an area. They could command people to do things and they could basically remote control the general public now without them even knowing it. So that is a low setting. The second setting is reverse. And this is the setting where agents can connect the implants inside of them onto you and can cause a lot of pain. And on the reverse setting, you're going to feel like implants seem to appear in your body that will feel like hard metallic pieces. It will be like someone's taking a hard object and pressing it on different areas of your body. And what they're doing is they're pointing an energy ray onto you. And at the same time, they are pointing another machine at themselves. 
So they're connecting themselves to you with one energy ray, and then they're firing another energy onto themselves. And what this does is it constantly adds plasma to their implants. So through this radio frequency link, you will be able to detect, you're going to be able to feel these implants that are in these agents. And very often, these are called fused implants. Very often, these are actual metallic or silicone implants that have been put inside agents during abductions. And by connecting themselves to you like this, this is going to ultimately cause large implants to form in your body around the same area that they were implanted. And if you let the plasma build up, it will become a bigger and bigger implant over time and could be used to cause severe pain, if not kill you. So you're going to be able to pull the implants and plasma out of yourself, but you will not be able to remove what will feel like hardened chunks of metal because you are sensing the implants that are in the agent's body and not in yours. You'll just sense them to the radio frequency connection. So by connecting themselves to you like this will ultimately cause plasma to build up in your body around the same area that they are implanted unless you remove it. So after they get these implants to build up inside you with the reverse setting, the last setting of concern is the high setting. And that is when a higher surge of energy is directed at you. And if you have large buildups of implants in your body, then it could cause you the most intense pain imaginable. The implants in your body will begin to heat up, pulsate, and cause pain to the surrounding areas. It will affect the surrounding tissue. Yet here is the good news. When they turn the power up, it will also be the easiest to remove all the implants that have built up in your body. You're just going to have to deal with the initial shock of being hit with a large surge of energy. And it's going to be painful and frightening at first, but you will get used to it over time. Just remember to use the U-breath to breathe correctly, and the more plasma you remove, the more the pain will begin to subside. So when these attacks first started, I did not understand all of this. I just knew that sometimes I felt these hardened implants appear in my body and no matter what I did, I could not remove it. And then in other times, these areas where I felt a hard, rigid, metallic piece before it was no longer there. And the implants seem more soft and pliable. So when the implants feel like they're letting go, when the implants feel softer, it is because they are turning the machines up to a higher level of pulses and more energy is being flooded into you. Now sometimes, when they turn the power level up, it does not cause any shock. All you will feel is the implants seem to give way and loosen up as more plasma energy streams into you. While at other times, usually because you have severe buildups of plasma, or implants that are formed in your body, when they turn the machine up and direct the energy at you, it becomes very shocking until you remove the implants. So if you're in a public place and this happens to you, you're going to have to stay calm and breathe using your U-breath to remove the incoming plasma the best you can. If you're in a public place and this happens, you will need to breathe correctly relax and tolerate the pain and usually these fights will go on for about 10 or 20 minutes depending on who you are fighting and this has happened to me hundreds of times and they'll do this to me at job interviews at court hearings however if you are at home and this happens to you they direct a huge surge of energy at you and you are able to meditate I would suggest doing so especially if the pain continues to get worse that means you have a large implant and you need to go to work to remove it. Yet that is the point of meditating every day, a few hours in the morning every day, to prevent the plasma from building up in your body and forming these implants.